Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jason again with Carolina Camper Van. I hope you're doing well out there. Uh, today I'd like to review slash demo some of the solar panels that I have for my Goal Zero. I, I have a Nomad 28, which is a folder, foldable panel. I've got a Nomad 50, which is another folding panel. And then we have the Boulder Briefcase, 100 watt. And this one actually folds in half too. So it just kind of opens like a briefcase. And we will be plugging these up and testing them on the Goal Zero Yeti 500X. Um, I have a previous review of, of this machine that I'll put in the uh, description below. But yeah, so what I like to do is kind of, we'll get these positioned in the yard and I'll just plug up each one at different times, uh, we'll let, it, let them plug up for maybe 30 seconds or so just to kind of bring them up to speed to see how much charge they can actually bring into the, to the power station. Uh, there is kind of a misconception out there that if I get a 100 watt panel, I plug it up to my power station, I'm going to get 100 watts. Uh, that's not true. Um, I found that with my 100 watt panel on a bright sunny day, probably going to get about 65 to 70 watts per hour um, and how they come up with that 100 watt rating I don't know all the all the details I do know that it is in a, a controlled environment I believe the temperature they use is 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit depends on the Sun's brightness the proximity to the Sun the angle of your panel I don't know how to figure all that out. I just kind of put mine out, kind of guesstimate the best angle, and plug them up, and there we go. I think the most I've seen on the um, 100 has been 75. The most I've seen on the 50 has been 40, and the most I've seen on the 28 has been 20. So what we'll do again, I'll get these set up, and we'll plug them up, let, let each one run for about 30 seconds or so. We'll capture all the input coming in, and then we'll go from there. All right, give me just a second. I'll get them set up, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so here's the setup. I apologize for my shadow. This is the Boulder Briefcase 100 in the glare as well. This is the Nomad 28, and then this is going to be the Nomad 50. So I'll turn the other camera on, and we will plug each one up. So we had those running, the input we saw, kind of the average for the 100, kind of went between 65 and 70. The 50 kind of kept going between 30 and 35. And surprisingly, the 28, it kind of peaked at 15 and then kind of settled back down at 10. Um, I thought that would have remained at 15, it normally does. Uh, so I'm not sure what's happening there. But uh, that being said, I usually use the 28 uh, kind of for my cell phone or my uh, earbuds. Uh, you can clip it right on your backpack if you're hiking around. Or if I'm at actually working, I can just put that one in the back of the truck. Put my, uh, like I said, my ear pods or my, or my phone if it gets slow. And as I'm working, it can charge up. Um, the 50, I usually just leave on my shed door and have it plugged up to the power station so when I open my my door it kind of just gets the sun 
And the 100 I usually just kind of keep if I, my power station gets really low or if we do have a storm and we lose power, um, you know, that next day we have a lot of hurricanes in the south. So the next day I'll pull out my 100, put it in the yard, charge up a power station. One cool thing about the Goal Zero products though is they're actually all chainable. So theoretically I could chain all three of these panels and run them into this machine. Um, I think with the 500X, they don't recommend exceeding like 100 or 150 watts. I don't recall the exact amount, um, but I have never tested that and I'm not going to because I don't want to mess my machine up. But overall, I've been extremely happy with the Goal Zero, not only the power station, but the panels. Um, they're just super convenient. They seem to do a good job. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in getting solar panels or solar systems such as I have, I would highly recommend Goal Zero. I don't have any experience with any other power stations um, or panels for that matter, uh, but I can just tell you I've been very satisfied with the Goal Zero products. All right, well thanks again for allowing me to review and demonstrate these panels for you. If you liked the video, please go ahead and give that like. And if you'd like to see future material, go ahead and consider subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. And I will talk to you next time. All right. Take care. Bye.